Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and we are at the 2024 PRI Show, joined by Jeremy Wagler of Wagler Competition Products. And this right here is what he's calling the Half Max, and it's our Diesel of the Week. Engine Builder's Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Jeremy, great to see you again. Good to see you. How's things going? You been good? good? Busy. Busy, busy. Yeah, well, you're busy doing new things like this Half Max here, which, you know, you were just telling me a little bit about what it is, but uh, I'm going to let you fill in the details because this thing's pretty cool. We've uh, talked about it for about 10 years, talking about building it, uh, basically taking a Duramax and making it a four cylinder. So this is actually the right bank. So yeah. if you rotate this over, this is the right bank of the Duramax. Uh, basically everything we could, we wanted to use factory parts. So like the rear cover, the oil pan, the, the uh, fuel system, intake, exhaust manifold, everything can be factory used off of a Duramax. This one is our prototype, so it's billet. We're planning on getting them cast as well. So, okay. but this one does have water. It has water flowing through it. We put a billet head on it just for the show, but we'll have a, a cast a GM head on it. Okay. So everything is basically it's a half of a Duramax, so a 3.3 liter, yeah. four cylinder. That's super cool. Yep. All right. So I got a couple of questions. Yep. So you mentioned it's the right bank. Yep. Why, Passenger why, side. Why the right bank versus? Uh, the just to keep the exhaust out of like the driver's compartment. Okay. So basically, when you're sitting in the truck, or if if you put it in a project car, most of the time we're on the left hand side to keep the turbo and the exhaust over on the right. We wanted to keep the manifold kind of like a Cummins. Okay. We wanted to be a Cummins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about you know why you guys went into development on stuff like this. You know what, so what was kind of the purpose behind it? This was started off as just a hobby that I wanted to just a project. So then we have a couple. Uh, entities in the government talking about doing a lightweight, lightweight version, uh, okay. four cylinder, small cubic inch. So we're wanting to finish it up, show them the prototype, see if there's any changes need, need made. But then also for your hot rod guy that's going off roading in a sand buggy or whatever, you know, you can do, we had some boat guys talking about doing some boats. It's basically, if you look at the 4BT, how many years was the 4BT a really awesome unit to put into a Jeep or whatever you want. You could do that with this too. All right, so Jeremy, tell us, you know, you mentioned that, you know, this piece obviously has the billet block and the billet head, but you're gonna, yep. you're gonna have the cast, cast options. It. Yep, we're gonna uh, do the casted uh, version after we get prototyping all done. Yeah, but yep. the billet stuff, is that something you're gonna offer? Or is yep. It, yep. Okay. yep, we do offer to do the Cummins, the Duramax billet blocks already. So this would be another one that we can add to the mix. And then talk about uh, the components inside. I assume it's just kind of your, your standard Duramax but, stuff. Yeah, basically we have a new crank being made because it's a four cylinder yep. to the, uh, yeah, so that would be crank the biggest cam, that's the biggest difference. It's a crank, still the same center line. So you can use the factory gears, center line of the cam crank is the same. The bore spacing is ex exactly the same. So all the main bearings, the rod bearings, everything's the same as a Duramax. Yeah. Uh, we're planning on putting just a Street Fighter set of rods. So it'll just be a half a set. So yeah. one set will get you two engines. Uh, same thing with the pistons, probably use the Molly pistons, make it easy, yeah. yep. Uh, Very cool. Everything is basic, real simple. We wanted to keep it simple. It doesn't look simple, but yeah. it really is. Factory water pump, you can put it into this drive where if it's a race application, you can put a Waterman uh, fuel pump in it. We got okay. that drive in. So everything is uh, made to be able to for a lot of multiple different applications. In your in your mind, is there one application where it makes the most sense, or, or is uh, it really just, just it's yeah, durable? Just, and, and, uh, just wanted to prove prove that we can build something uh, as a uh, like a shop project, but yeah. basically using trying to make it to where once we have it all done, you can step it down to a stock application or take it up to a drag race. We're wanting to put it in a, a dragster yeah. and run it in a dragster. See if we get 1,500, 2,000 horsepower out of a four wow. sock. Yep. Wow. So that's crazy. Nitrous and turbos. Yeah. So, so talk a little bit about that. You know, you just got a single on here right yep. now. For got a little Johnny. Johnny uh, sent a stainless diesel. Sent us a nice turbo. Okay. Uh, S and S has their uh, their new CP3 on display here. Very but as good. far as as far as the overall, I think you can do a compound kit, whatever a guy wants to put on it. But range from two to 300 horsepower to 2,000 horsepower is my goal, end goal. Wow. So, yep, wow. with different combinations. 
clearly a lot of cool, interesting things going on in that head of yours. Yep. And, uh, Always this, up this to something. A, this is a cool result. Jeremy, anything else about this half max that we're leaving out? Not really. Just basically, uh, uh, we'll keep everybody posted on social media and everything, but we're planning on putting it on the dyno as soon as we get all the components down yeah. and uh, we'll show what kind of power we can make and see how many RPMs very we cool. can turn. Yeah, well, I'm definitely interested yep. in knowing that. So, very cool. All right. Jeremy, always a pleasure. Thank you. Guys, we appreciate all you watching this episode of Diesel of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Jeremy and his team have going on here at Wagler Competition. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.